Hey everyone, welcome to the video. My name is Owen Fox and I, I work on Earth as a holistic healer and teacher and educator of holistic, heart-based, healed, clear vibrational living. So instead of living in a state of confusion and distorted disturbedness, blah, 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 we can live in a state of inner child aliveness and inner child awakefulness and wisdom. So I hope you watch the beginning of this video again if you've just joined in. Anyway, so yes, that's what I do on my, on my earth in, as my passion and my calling to help humanity to awaken from the slumber of conditioned programmed living and have the, the freer, freest, best life ever of clarity and excellent, happy, joyful relationships and inner peace. So that's what I do. So in this video, I want to talk about the whole topic of inner peace and um, opposition, resistance and arguing in relationships and primarily within ourselves and why that happens. So in my life I've noticed an incredible positive shift as I've become wiser and blessed, blessedfully gained helpful empowering knowledge um, to assist me on my journey of deconditioning myself from past programmed patterns and habitual living and reactive states of consciousness. So, like what I like the most is to feel free, light and peaceful and creative and empowered because at the end of the day we cannot co-create the life that we want if, mm, if we're basically like muddled up a little bit. So, um, yeah, in this video, okay, I'm going to talk about how to have really awesome, better relationships and how to communicate better and how to listen better and how to basically have have a much 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 clearer mind so you're not stressed and argumentative and frustrated and upset and angry and um, frustrated with people because in, in I see it all around the place like me and so many other people I go through this state of living where we yeah you know what I mean we were in conflict too much for our own liking. So, okay, I'm gonna talk about um, one minute. So have some some mint tea. Mm, that was nice. Okay, so in this video, it's about opposition, resistance, and arguing. And um, in my own life, I've noticed in the past I'd, I'd be in conflict and arguments like a lot at some stages of my life, and. Um, it would really boil down to I'd resist people and I'd, I'd be in opposition to them and the reason why I would be is because I'd be fighting to be loved and cared for and treated the way I wanted to be because um, they wouldn't naturally be giving it because they're not naturally in this place but the thing was I wasn't naturally in the place either to basically give what they needed so um, the, pro the, the judgment within me would, would, want, would judge them to being bad, wrong, or not good enough. And from this place of programmed, automatic, reactive judgments, um, that they are not good enough at listening, they're not good enough at communicating, like they're not clear enough at expressing themselves, or they're not good enough at understanding me, um, they're not good enough at like looking at, looking after me or like caring for me or they're not good enough at being thoughtful or being considerate all of these judgments within me basically would cause me a lot of disharmony in my own vibration um, so I'd feel in a state of upset and being feeling hurt and resisting them for not being good enough and being bad basically so the three judgments are being bad wrong and not good enough so this is the fundamental beneath any upset generally is in the middle there's a whole lot of stories and beneath all the stories is the fundamental root um, judgments of being people not being good good enough they're being bad or um, wrong in our judgment of them or not, or not good enough so 
if you look at your own obsessed with people or own disharmony or conflicts, you will realize that this is what you're doing and this is why you're upset. So when we start, the remedy to this is to take a break, take a breather, take a deep breath, and just respect, um, introspect and reflect at ourselves to where we are judging them. Because if we live in a state of unconditional love and, un and understanding, we will have compassion and peace. In, and, but when we're not in this state, which is, takes some work to get to, it takes some unprogramming and it takes some heart, awareness and wisdom. All we'll do is we'll live in this state of opposition, resistance and arguing. And we'll also take things personally as well. So when people act a certain way, we'll take things personally. Well, that's a little bit of another topic for a different video, really, to be honest. But, um, when I've released my own resistance, opposition, and judgment, then I wouldn't be arguing. I'd be having love and compassion instead. So if we're willing to look at ourselves and our own programming and conditioning, we will have compassion and peace which is excellent, that's what we want. We want peace and compassion and love. And when we have this, then we're able to respond with our hearts instead of blaming. Because when we proclaim others to be wrong or bad in some way, or judge them in a way to be not good enough, which is pretty harsh, um, like it's a bit sad for me in my heart to think that we're going around judging each other to be not good enough because like who are we like to judge others to be not good enough we aren't perfect and we're all like have strengths and weaknesses you can't go around like judging others to be not good enough you know and that's what we do everyone at the at the programmed subconscious mental state so like if let's say others are like whatever grumpy tired like irritable judgmental critical to try to be controlling or tell us what to do we can have this resistance and opposition easily if we want. But, so this video isn't about being a walkover or being passive. I'm talking about inner opposition, inner resistance and inner judgment and inner arguing. But from when we reach, the, either way on the outside, we can oppose or resist like war. Like if someone tries to invade our home or our tribe, obviously we can resist, um, oppose and argue or stand up for ourselves, fight. But that's not what I'm talking about. We could do that from a place of... Um, we can do that with fire in our bellies as much as we want. And that's that's fine to protect ourselves and our loved ones, of course. But I'm not talking about that in this video. I'm talking about just general life where there isn't, like, sticking up... Like, I know there's all sorts of, like, bad things happening in this world that I call bad, okay? Like, unpleasant, like, things, okay? All sorts of stuff, like... Um, abuse and... Um, control and abusive behaviors but if we still can actually fight these so to speak with compassion and understanding because people are so sick and unwell to do these things and we can still have a way better emotional well-being and a far higher vibration um, so yeah it's way way more pleasant and f happy for us it's all like it's way more fun it's way more p pleasant and positive for us to stick up with love, from love, for love, instead of feeling um, just terrible, I suppose. You know, like, and there's nothing wrong with feeling like certain emotions like anger or either, but at the end of the day, we can do things from a higher vibration, that's all I'm saying, and they're more effective from a higher vibration too. So, yeah, that's all I really want to say in this video. So, um, yeah. Um, I guess I can cover so much more of this in other videos and in the future, but this is just a preliminary touching the iceberg. Um, but yeah, I hope this video has helped, and um, yeah, I hope this helps you to learn about your your um, your shadow, your pain body, your ego, etc. Some people call it. And basically, at the end of the day, like life is way simpler than we make it out to be, and spirituality and relationships in life is way way simpler than we make it out to be. At the end of the day, the more you heal and learn and are willing and open to heal and learn, you don't have to, you don't, it's not necessary to like become really, really complicated in like thousands of chapters or writings or words. Like at the end of the day, I could have said all this like way faster, like way sooner, but I don't know.
it's I just want to I want to instill you with a sense of self belief that like you can do this like life isn't as hard as we make it out to be we're being loved and guided and supported divinely and then um, as long as we show up and do our best and learn about our, our our mind and our thoughts and our focusing and our heart and do our best in actions as well it's hard to fail like it's almost impossible to fail so with every experience that happens that we don't like, we learn what we do like even more. So we can't fail at life either. Like every time we experience something, be it a failed relationship or a bad job or whatever we don't like, we're learning what we do like even better. So at the end of the day, everything turns out to be positive. Ultimately, it serves a higher purpose and a good positive purpose in our life. So we don't need to be like negative or fretting or just all we need to do is let go of the guilt and the to hurt and the pain and to feel our feelings without any judgment that we're wrong, bad or shouldn't or not good enough. It's all about ourselves too. Like we judge ourselves to be wrong, bad or not good enough. And when we stop doing this, we have way better life and relationships. And we just like go forward more harmonious. And <laughs> Sarah says her sorry my son is having fun posting to you. <laughs> little pizza slice. Nice. Hey Sarah, I know what it's like to have little children in one's li in my life, so it's fun and lovely. <laughs> nice, thanks for that. That's nice. Send me any more little pizza slices or like muffins or strawberries or bananas as much as you like. <laughs> so everyone, that's all. Like that's all I want to say. Really, yeah. it's pretty simple. Really. Yeah. See, what makes it not simple is our programmed and conditioned mind and telling us it's not simple, and we believe it, and then we think it's hard. And I'm not saying life is dead easy, I'm just saying it's simple. Like, it's way simpler than we, than we think. Learn accurate knowledge, do our best, be honest with ourselves and other people. And yeah, that's it, work on healing our past stored hurts from the past. So all we need is a willingness and an openness and a receptivity to learn, grow and heal. And that's all you need to do is like straightforward. Once you're on the path, you're on the path. And then life will synchronistically bring you what you need for the next step. So just remain a humble learner, that's all you need to do. Like, so let go of the arrogance thinking you know everything and you know better and that doesn't work. And you don't need to like live with a heavy like feeling of like me against the world or me against other people. That's, that's what I'm talking about, resistance, opposition and arguing. Let go of this inner feeling of um, you know, resistance and heaviness and judgment and you're, you're just going to have a way better fun life. So, I really want people to like play, like play in the play. The reason I've been in playgrounds, play in the playgrounds. Do a little bit of dancing. Get out of your comfort zones gradually. Um, test yourself a little bit, you know. And don't always do the same thing in your life over and over. Do some new stuff and learn some new stuff and express some stuff. Because we all need to express our oral and learn. So we all want to give and we all want to receive positive stuff. So. Don't worry and don't be in a rush. You can't expect to solve everything tonight or today. So just one step at a time. Yeah, just let go of thinking so seriously, basically, everyone. Get out in nature, do exercise and have fun. And uh, yeah, just always try and improve your life with a sense of relaxedness and peace and ease and grace and harmony without struggling and being so heavy and serious about it. I'd say the number one like human problem is like and it's not really a problem, but it's just I'm playfully using that word. Like the, the number one human condition is like yeah. programmed mind that's like way out of control, unaware of, you know. And secondly, it's just like living in such a state of seriousness, like lighten up and be, just learn to be more fearless and loving. Like there's nothing better for you to feel love and happiness and joy. Um, like that's the most best selfish thing you could ever do. You'd want for yourself in the world to feel great and. You can't feel any greater than feeling peace, love, and joy, and happiness. So healing and learning this stuff should be like, well not should be, it can be a pretty important thing in our life for our priority. Um, and it's for us fundamentally, and then it's for everybody else, it's for our family. Anyway. I don't know. I just see people like making things so complicated. like. It doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be like serious, hard or complicated. It can be easy or easy enough. It can be pretty simple and straightforward. And uh, yeah, that's it. So anyway, 
If anyone wants any one-to-one -one personal consultations with me, everybody, please, or to buy my books or my herbs, for my, my higher self herbs, etc., or just send me a message or an inbox and check in my website. And I, I love doing like this type of spiritual work and healing with people. Like just, it's just I love it. Like it's great to help learn wisdom, become clearer, get help in your direction, um, let go of stuff, heal, feel way happier and peaceful and relaxed and joyful about stuff. To be way more empowered to like feel what you're doing is right and you know what's good for you, and then just having fun and playful and and healing your inner child. Like there's nothing better than healing your inner child. Like having fun, everyone. Like I've been climbing a lot of trees lately. Um, I've had, I've been playing in the playground. I've been with children. I've been, <laughs> I've been doing some dancing that usually I'm like a bit um, uptight about because that's like my have a wound, and I'm just gradually letting it go, you know, by facing it and just wanting to be different, you know. Um, but climbing trees and being out of nature and walking is so good and being in the playground. <laughs> ah, everyone. I just, I just want us all to laugh more and love more. Like, I don't know. Anyway, probably should do some other stuff now. I have to do some work. This is like playful fun work. Like, it's not really work work, but it is sort of like my, 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 my passion, purpose and calling to, <sighs> to help people. To, help the, my beautiful soul family and friends here on the earth and far away nearby planets that I don't talk about. I'm only joking, but we are all one cosmic family to be honest. So anyway, and don't forget, cleanse and heal your body too and with happiness, peace and harmony, no stress. Just enjoy yourself cleansing and eating natural food as possible. And I would recommend fruits and raw food to be honest. And uh, yeah, I'd recommend enemas and even herbs. So. But I won't get into that too much. But yeah, enjoy your day, everyone. Lots of love. And um, sorry for not wishing you like enjoy your two days. But only your day. <laughs> it's funny when you like say something like "Have a good weekend" or "Have a nice, have a nice, have a nice evening." <laughs> it's like, well, what about tomorrow morning or my night time? Why aren't you wishing me to have a nice day or a week or a weekend? So I. Like, Sometimes I'm at the shops and I say to people like people say, "Okay, have a nice day." I'm like, "Have a nice decade. Have a nice decade. Have a nice decade." <laughs> or have a nice weekend. Like today, I said, "Have a nice weekend," and it's Monday. <laughs> I just love saying like the, the wrong things or the funny things, the goofy things. I just love playing with people or like snapping them out of their conditioned minds, their automatic like um, expectation that people will say the exact same thing all the time. Because we all say the same things, everyone generally speaking in society, like it's called manners. It's called manners and being respectful. It's like you sneeze and people you expect to say bless you or thank you. So like, but it's kind of like funny, you know, when um, you say odd or unusual or unexpected things, at least it's funny for me. <laughs> Just to connect intimately with people is like fun and happy and soothing. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> Just have a bit of fun and lighten up everyone and connect. Uh, take some nice deep breaths. Do self-massage and massage your loved ones in public as well or privately. Like, it's hard to find a bad time to love, laugh, live and have fun. Obviously there's a time and a place but um, but yeah. We could all have a lot of more fun, love, laugh, and live, and massage, and playfulness. So, anyway. It's been a while since I made a live video, and that's why I went off topic in this video. So, hope you have a nice weekend, and week, and Monday, and I hope you have a nice season. Sorry, I hope you have a nice um, month of January. But I don't mean to be mean saying don't have a nice February. Like, have a nice February, but don't have a nice March. But have a really good April. <laughs> June and July, I wish to be pretty decent for you, like medium level. But not too... I want to be medium so you really appreciate an amazing August after having an average June and July. 
and then just have a super awesome rest of the year. <laughs> but I'm not trying to be mean either, like wishing you a bad or an, an okay 2019. I want you to have a really good 2019 and an amazing decade and a really, really good life. But not only that, I want you to have a super, super, super duper like lifetime and a next lifetime. Parallel reality unit living lives. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy everything. Lots of love, everyone. Have a great day and life. Yeah. See that? I was conditioning. Have a great day. <laughs> love you. Bye.